your throat is missing. Yeah, that's awful, awful. We usually drink. Uh, for that, we drink. I don't know how it is made. We call it mangoes here. Call them mangoes. Yeah, I think mangoes. Ah, you can be here. <laughs> yeah, you won't go out. Okay. I am planning a rather long marathon this weekend. Sadly, today I have to spend most of my time testing. But I finally found a solution to all the issues. Now I have good frame rates without dropped frames. And I can have all the goodies of my 7.1 audio. And you can hear, <laughs> yeah, the fruit mango. You make a mango juice and you drop some... Where the fuck am I? Ah, there we go. Well, how did I end up here? I'm going out of this place. I don't like to explore without a plan. Yeah, you make juice and you put honey on it. You mix it, it well and then and then heat it up. And it. What is that sound? I'm going to get ambushed by a ghost out here. I'm surprised. And yeah, I, w <laughs> I won't tell you to eat a mongoose. <laughs> the juice of a mongoose, that doesn't sound all too ap yeah, appropriate. The juice. Holy fuck, where did I end? I I need to fast travel fast to Cape Solace. Holy crap, this place is huge. Yeah, let's go to Cape Solace. Yeah, if you can. It's quite pleasant. Okay, let's keep exploring this place. Why is she still? Let's talk to her then. I've been in some strange places, but this place tops them all. I hope you don't plan on settling down. Ah, it's that fucking quest out the survivors. I'm so lonely. Yeah, Be so well. lonely with all these people around. Back Such up. irony. Navy reconnaissance report. Okay. The official survey prepared by the Alpha Navy details the intended target. In this case, the quarry is the pirate death kill. She may be of the same race, Raccoon. I don't know. I think she's a, a low so far, because she's a little bit uh, more white. <laughs> Than good or or fuse, and I'm a docal far. I read in a book not uh, 20 minutes ago that those two are sub races of a, a species or subspecies. 
of the Alfar. And that's why some are called Los, Al Los Alfar and the other are Doc Alfar. One are the whites and one are the blacks. One are the fashionable and one <laughs> and the others are the rednecks apparently. But what quick update. I'm in the island of Game Send or something like that. I killed all the Colossi in the Citadel because I really hate their arrogance and their determination to stop being barbaric. So I killed them all. I left uh, the teeth of Narus with a thrill of <laughs> corpses behind me and went to Radir where an idiot offered me payment up front to catch the pirate death kill that apparently got killed centuries ago but now is again raiding shipment from Radir to the Gluricon front line so I decided I was going to help because we cannot have our armies in the yeah in the other continent lacking for food <laughs> yeah <laughs> well that would be a little bit banal killing them for their awful place but yeah that's another reason I did kill everyone in that uh, theater I only spared the people in the like chaos because they really know how things work you don't yeah there you don't win an argument by being persuasive you win it by beating your opponent in the head and in the <laughs> in the balls or the say the breasts yeah you win by the power of your muscles and not the power of your arguments so I spare them because they understand how things work I kill the rest so ah here I am that woman that you saw was the captain of the ship that was supposed to bring me here but we got attacked by the pirate and ship wrecked and now I'm trying to find two things the pirate himself so I can kill him and a boat so I can sail back to the continent and continue the war against the winter fairies that's the update if you wish more detail you can ask of course Let's see what they have to say about Death Kill. In the waning years of the Middle Kingdom era, the ruthless and cunning Death Kill sailed the frigid frost big sea under the flag of the bloody hanged man. In a rare and often graphic account that describe his person, Death Kill caught a most terrifying figure clothed in a ship's black attire and done in a gruesome skull mask. The report suggests that his headpiece was taken from the remains of one of Death Kill's victims, but this was highly dubious, a claim that has never been sustained. Although it is dramatic, even a poetic manner does fit with the pirate's known behavior. Our naval logs allege that the pirate king Death Kill was tracked to his island hideout of Gallows, and that's it, Gallows. And this is the island where I'm, uh, I am right now. And executed at the hands of Captain Kent, a commander of the ship Goldstream. No corpse was ever recovered. No dead report was ever filed. Recently, that girl has come back to hunt to the outside world, plundering vessels associated with our efforts in the Crystal War. Many do not believe that it is the same death kill as the one in the old tales. It is my belief that they are wrong. A dark magic is at work. Like all great captains, that kill possesses a certain charisma. Some call it charm. Some call it danger. 
Whatever the name that killed is a superb leader who inspires great devotion in his followers. The men in his crew would gladly follow him to the ends of the earth and beyond if so ordered. As killed swordsman, the skill does not shrink from battle and charges into a fray, knowing that his mere presence will send many of the enemy running for their lives. All of that kills weapons, his most potent is fear. His name is one that has transcended the limitations of time and space, and now perhaps even mortality. We would best be careful of this one, Commodore Garrick. There you have it. Our enemy. But we will not get scared easily. Well, these people are very, very strange zealots. They hang people. They hang people for breaking, I guess, the... The... Laws of... Ah, they have a code here, it's called... I don't know, you will see a name sooner or later. But apparently he is the whole island, even the bad things, and they worship him. Uh, yeah. Patrick! Speak to me, gnome. Look what the reef brought ashore this time. I am Patrick Dower. My friends call me Paddy, but I have few of those here in the village. I assume dear Alder's given you the welcome speech? Or foolish man. I it's agree. It's crowded down here, you know. Pity we can't move, some of us at least, up to the keep on the hill. There you go, that's the name of the god, Akara. Look how do you, how did you end up here? Raised by humans, trained by the master. And nothing but a sour malcontent, if most of Kate's solace is to be believed. You'd be wise to steer clear of me. Praise Akara now and then, and start making your new life here. I refuse to live in this rock. Tell me about that. Yeah. Down, that's going None of us are here by choice. So I try not to judge too harshly. But... If I may be crass, they're a bunch of damn sheep, these people. Not all of them, of course. Keen man. They're good folks. Mine for two. The rest, I wouldn't miss. <laughs> Hang them, then. Well, tell me more about the cape. It's safe, that's for certain. And try as I might, I can't deny that's probably thanks to this Akara. Real or not, that doesn't mean I have to worship him like the others. I don't fall to my knees out of pure boredom like some people. Good for you, my friend. So if you fell to the knees, the difference wouldn't be that big, would it? What can you tell me about Alda? Alda's a fine fellow. Just ask him. He'll tell you himself. You may have gathered. He and I don't see eye to eye on some things. And what are those things? Alder's a fine fellow. Fuck. Just ask him. Tell tell me about the creature known as Akara. Alder's god. I don't know if he's real or not, but I know I don't believe him. What kind of god only protects you if you stay within these random borders and every few years sacrifice someone to him? <laughs> really? He demands human sacrifices to keep up the barrier. Ah, I'm starting to like this god after all. Can you tell me more about him? Alder's god. I don't know if he's Fuck real, you. but I know I don't Tell me how to keep. Thing of beauty, isn't it? Nothing like the great city of Odessa, of course, but just as breathtaking. Please excuse my enthusiasm. I am... Well, I was an architect back in the world. If you want a nicer place to live, and you aren't afraid of spirits, I can help you get that far. Interesting. 
Do you believe it is haunted? It's not haunted. Cursed, maybe, but not haunted. Gates locked, and it's crawling with those damn scabs. <laughs> and there's something else inside that's loud as hell. Every so often, someone gets an idea to sneak in. Most don't get as far as the door, and those who do never come back. What the fuck is the difference between a house being cursed and being hunted? I don't... yeah. I don't see why it make the point of one thing being different from the other. They're quite similar to me. Do you know all this? Did you send them to their deaths? I've gotten as far as the top of the wall to have a peek inside. It wasn't easy, but I had a good enough look to know I'd better climb right back down and think of something else. <laughs> Everything else, I know from the dream. Aha! The dream! You don't believe in gods, but you believe in dreams! So different. What a dream! Last night, I dreamt of the keep as it once was, several stories tall and so beautiful it made me cry. When I awoke, I was clutching this key in my hand. I don't put much stock in a parlor. I do know a sign when I see one. There was more, but I can't recall it clearly. Perhaps it'll come back to me when we get inside. Will you come? <laughs> I am in the... And then I'll be short round and this the temple of the... <laughs> I'm looking for the Ankara stones. Yeah. Yeah, I knew Indiana Jones was as ruthless as me. Of course, we're going to... Carve some hearts out of people sooner rather than later. Yeah. <laughs> we what do you what do you propose? Yes. We? I'm going with you. I'm not much good in a fight, but I can remember enough of what I saw in the dream to know where to go. So you want to help me or not? Why the fuck not? I am interested. And yeah, if I can eat some brains, I will as well. Delicious dessert, isn't it? Fantastic! Let me know when you're ready to go, and we'll be off. Fantastic! No, not yet. I will explore this place first. I'll be ready whenever you are. Haha, <laughs> tell me more about those dreams. The dream is still mostly mist and darkness, but bits and pieces return to me when I concentrate. Though I don't remember all the details, I believe the memory is guiding my discoveries and inspirations. Lies! You look... yeah. You woke up with the key on your hand, you didn't discover it, you didn't look for it. Someone wants you to go in there. Or something wants you. Well, tell me more about the dream. Last night, I dreamt of the key as it once was. Fuck! I don't put much stock in a car. There was more. Okay, okay, okay. I can't recall it clearly. Perhaps it'll come back to me when we get inside. Bye. No, I want more. Ready to see what mysteries are behind Grave Hall's gates? No! I'll be ready whenever you are. Tell me about you again. Soon to be master builder of Grave Hall Keep, if you please. Uh, should you see fit, of course. Or uh -huh. just call me Paddy. So he has dreams of power. Bye. He wants to have his own little kingdom right there. Why not? It would be best. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Cillian, the Beastmaster. Imagine! He has the same tattoo as us. 
But a coincidence. Why can't you tell me how to know? Big sorry of himself. But there's no one better to have on your side. What about you? I was trained to fight and bend the beast to mankind's service. Not skills in great demand here. We've never needed to fight, thanks to Akara's protection. And all the refusals to allow beasts in the village. Well, one. <laughs> Look at his mouth! <laughs> He's snarling at me. But look at that leap! Ah, it went down. So it was almost like a zombie or something. He was so scared. And this... <laughs> there you go again. <laughs> so fearsome. I am shitting with fear! Motherfucker, tell me how that doubt. Life solace is nice. If you're into religious zealotry. Yeah. Me? I prefer hanging out with animals to people anyways. Uh-huh. Take care. You like animals, maybe that's where he learned that trick. He's gnarling like a dog. Maybe I should kick him like a dog. Look at that huge snail. Interesting. Let's explore this place. The banner. Let me see what was that. Okay, let me talk to him again first. Where was he? The banner. How's our new arrival? Take care. Are you talking about this thing? When I talk to a gnome, yeah. I think that should be out. Let me. I didn't. Ready pay to attention. see what mysteries are behind Grey Yeah, Paul's that gates. must be it. I'll be ready whenever you are. But when I talk to the other woman, there is a pirate uh, flag. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing you're correct, it must be related to some faction quest or something. The main quest is surely a pirate flag. Maybe it is a faction quest out here. Well, what are those things? The Watchers. Apparently I don't talk. Why not? Center here. Aha! Great. Really need to do this. Fuck. Bite my tongue and click like an idiot. There we go, finally. Okay. Let's explore this cave. It's a cave. Holy shit. Nah. Seems like it's big. 
this big fuck me right